Hey everyone, today I thought I'd tie a balloon caddis and this dry is actually, believe it or not, one of my favourite dries to tie. Um, I really enjoy fishing it too, but to tie it, I just find it so much fun. A little bit quirky, uh, it's cool, it's got cool colour schemes, um, but yeah, it's still fish as well as I said. So I've got a, uh, what I've got is a size 14 Hanak 130 dry fly hook. I've got light olive thread that I'm winding on now. Now the butt of this fly, you can tie this fly just all natural or you can add a little hot spot in which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to add a little chartreuse butt with some spectra dubbing which is just nice because I don't have that on many other flies so it just sets it apart. You could put like an orange or a red tag on here but so many of our other flies have those coloured hot spots. So that's why I find chartreuse is nice. Pull it off there. You don't need too much. A little bit of sparkle really does light up the water. Now the body of this one, I've just got hairs here there which I'm dubbing on. You can do it in whatever shade you really like. I've gone like a lighter shade. Just going to dub it there. You just want to make sure you get like a nice even kind of taper. You can also wind back over your your chartreuse hotspot there a little bit if you like just to uh, just to make sure it's the exact right amount you like. Keep winding down. I'm, I'd always rather do what I'm doing now which is dub less and then add more. There's nothing worse than dubbing on too much and then going gonna have to pull it off and yeah do all that. Alright I reckon there's about right. Gonna cover the sorry, put a thread layer down there. Might add a tiny bit more. Here's here actually. Perfect. Alright, so now we're just gonna add the deer head wing. I've got a uh, just a natural roe deer there. I like the lighter colour for this fly. Um, it kind of goes with the natural body that I have on them pre-stacked some deer hair earlier. Maybe a little too much. But we'll see. That's a lot actually. Gonna thin that out. You don't need too much material. Probably on this fly or any fly, underdressing you probably all know is better anyway if you can. Alright, so I'm gonna lay that down. For my wing I like it to kind of go the full length of the uh, of the um, the hook shank there, and it'll kind of pop up nicely. So I think about there looks right. I'll pinch that down. Do one loose wrap, second wrap down to tighten it, and then I kind of check on it. I go, yep, I'm happy with that. I actually just work my way forwards. Locking down little bits at once. I do this just because I don't want to lock it all down in one spot and then you know find that your threads kind of just cut through everything. Now we've got everyone's favorite part of tying with deer hair, which is trimming it and having it go everywhere. The good thing about this one is you don't need to trim it in any particular way because we're going to have dubbing over the top of it and you're going to have um, you're going to have your uh, foam over the top of this anyway. So I'm just trimming that down here. Now if it has, the if the uh, deer hair has come around the, rolled around the, like the side as it kind of did there, that's no problem because you can always just trim right from the base because we're kind of going to dub over a bit of that anyway. That looks nice. Now I'm just going to wind down here. Use a little bit of this um, deer hair we kind of left there as a bit of a base. But it doesn't really matter because as I said you're going to be putting, tying your foam over this as well. Alright, I'm happy with that. So now all I've done is I've got some yellow foam there and I'm going to tie that in but what I've done is I've actually kind of chopped it on a little angle like that to make it easier for me to tie in. And I might just 
angle that up a bit to make it even easier. And what I do is I just lay that down over the top, tie it in here, and I'm going to tie it all the way down to the eye. That's how this fly works. You don't actually finish it off right behind the eye. Like most flies, you roll it back like that. Trim a little bit of this off. This is why I find this fly so fun to tie. It's just so different to anything else that I normally tie. I don't use foam that often in my flies. Cool. So we're at that point. We've locked that down. We're going to peel that over, but what we need to do is we just need to add some dubbing for the thorax. I've run out of dubbing there. Let's grab a little bit more hairs here. You can change the colour up if you wanted here. You could add darker, you could add lighter just to give it some contrast to the rest of your fly. Um, but I'll just I'm just gonna go with the plain, the same colour I had before. Don't you don't need to stress too much about covering all of the uh, all of the foam on top either if you can kind of see yellow coming through because you're going to be winding your foam back over the top anyway so that's not a concern right I'm going to finish it there sorry finish dubbing there because now I'm going to peel this back and I'm actually just gonna key as to where to line it up I'm just gonna roll it back lock it down like so, so you kind of have just that nice little balloony kind of base on top I'm happy with that, and then all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a couple of half hitches I don't like to wind too much thread around this because I don't want to bed down the feathers there sorry the fibers of the hairs here there I might do another half hitch Tie that down, trim off the thread, now I'm just going to trim off this here as well, and that looks really nice. And now to finish it, I'm just going to put the world's tiniest dab of super glue, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some super glue, I've got my wire here, and I actually just turn it and apply it just in this little gap here where the foam is where I can get to the thread and that tiny amount of super glue is enough to kind of bind that thread in there not affect the fly, it won't come unraveled and there you go, that is a balloon caddis um, the one I like to fish, really fun to fish um, easy to see, it's got the foam there, also acts as a cider it's got the deer hair so it floats really well and um, yeah, they ate it well. Great evening rise fly. Really good fly to animate and kind of twitch around. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you next video.